Hey there, this is June from Zeppelin. Today, let's talk about spacing. In design, spacing is everywhere, but it's often overlooked. Even though spacing variables are defined in a design system, developers still need to guess which spacing variable need to be used just by looking at the raw pixel values. If you have a great designer on your team, they may add some notes and overlays here and there to explain what spacing variables should be used on what screen, but this is super manual and mistakes can happen. Zeppelin's spacing feature will remove the guesswork of spacing by allowing designers to define spacing variables in the style guide feature and then show the variables right in the screens when developers are inspecting the layers. Let's hop into a demo. To get started, let's head over to a new spacing layout page in your project style guide. Here, you hit this add token button to create a set of spacing tokens. Let's create four, 12, 16, 28, and 48 space tokens. By default, Zeppelin automatically adds these values and names, but you can change them to match your design system. Let's click into this guide screen to see the changes. Notice when I inspect this element, Zeppelin provides translucent overlays so you can easily differentiate where spacing tokens are used in the design. Now, developers don't need to guess which spacing token to be used. We also heard tons of feedback from developers that they like to see units in REM. If you use REM units in your project, you can directly see REM units here in Zeppelin instead of manually converting them. Let's go back into our style guide and here, we can click Enable REM and by default, the root size is 16, but you can always change it if you need to. Notice you can enable REM for either measurements, font sizes, or both. When I go back into the screen and hover over this element, you can now see the spacing values in REM. Depending on your workflow, you can use REM and spacing tokens together or separately. Hope you found this helpful. Please let us know any feedback on spacing in the comments below. See you in the next video and take care.